Now, I've got it all pinned flat, and what I want to do is give it a quick, I've got my spray starch here, I'm giving it a quick little spritz, and I'm going to come back with an iron. Now, I put that on dry, but it still wants to steam. It doesn't hurt to steam it. i press it down like that, and I'll press my, you can see how the steam is getting rid of my little blue lines. Now, don't worry about, see all this little in here, this is going to be pressed, we're going to stitch this, and then we're going to press it nice and flat again. Wherever these pins are, it tends to want to pucker your fabric a little bit. And there's paper underneath there, and the paper puckers, but we're not worried about it the way it looks right now. It's a little rough looking, but once we stitch it in place, um, it's, it's going to look great. So we're ready to lift this off and go to our sewing machine. Isn't that great? We're going to go to our sewing machine, and we're going to stitch around it. In the instructions, you're going. it tells you, it shows you this area in red and tells you not to stitch there. So we're going to be stitching all of the these areas, um, leaving this open because we're going to put a window of pin tucks inside these areas. So um, let me go to the sewing machine and I'll show you how to stitch this up. Okay, welcome back. We're at the sewing machine and I've set this with an open toe foot so I can really see what's going on uh, under the foot. I have a size 65 needle and that's very important. You need a nice tiny needle and I have 80 weight thread uh, in the bobbin and at the top. So uh, and I've got the machine set on a zigzag with a 2.0 stitch length and a 1.5 stitch width. Um, some people like to do it with a 2.0 stitch width. What you need to do is just get under your machine and see what you're comfortable with as I'm sewing along, I may adjust this. Um, again, you, I want to start about right here. I don't want to start here. I want to start about right here. Give myself a little bit of a tail there. And I'm going to remove that pin. I'm going to try to keep up with removing the pins as I go. So we're going to give this a start. Get this tail thread out of the way. And we're going to go along, following the header of the lace. Nice around the edge, and the starch gave us a nice gentle amount of stiffness to act as a kind of a stabilizer, and it also acts as kind of a temporary, kind of adheres it to the fabric, and it stiffens the lace a little bit so you're not working with, with too, your flat fabrics and things aren't too flimsy. Now here, I'm, I'm going to cross over this. So I want to be careful that I don't, the one thing you don't want to do is make this, this foot get snagged under the edge of this lace. So you're just kind of watching a little bit of everything. Remove any needles that get in your way. Um, pivot as you need. And um, also you may have noticed that I've, it's hard to see, but I've outlined this with pink marker to remind me not to stitch that part. So if you need to, make sure you mark this or put a little red dot uh, sticker in there to remind you not to stitch this part because you'll just go, it's a lot of stitching to do and you'll just go willy-nilly and you'll start stitching everything and then when you're finished you're going, oh no, and you can't take it out because this is really tight zigzagging. So I'm going to um, stitch around some of these and I'll come back and show you once I get some of this stitched. And, Okay, I've come to a part where I'm at a crossover, and again, watch, my, my presser foot wants to go underneath that lace. Um, but this lace crosses over on top, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch up to here and stop. And I'm going to skip over to this side and start stitching again. I don't want to stitch across here, because later on I'm going to cut this lace and fabric behind this lace, and I don't want to have stitching right there. Now when I do this curve, I'm going to stitch right across that because that's my overlapping lace. So I'm going to continue on and I'll come back when I get some, of, some more of this stitched. Okay, I've stitched the inside here and the inside here and I'm about to stitch inside this little square. So instead of just stitching across here and having these two ends, I'm going to start here, stitch up, pivot, stitch around, pivot and stitch down to fill in this whole little area. Now again, this is the part, this edge is the stitch, I, the, the edge I don't want to stitch because I'm going to be doing a little window there. Um, 
So I'm going to stitch around this and then start working on the outside here. You just have to go in sections and stitching the inside and the outside. Um, and you'll see the, in the instructions the sequence um, of how to stitch and when to stitch. Okay, I've gotten a lot of this stitched down and I've removed the pins from as I've gone along. And I've decided that instead of putting more pins in, I'd like to just put little dots of glue basting glue to hold this down because as I sew you see let me hold this you see that can just shift your your rib your not your ribbon but your lace and I don't want that shifting around so I'm putting little dots of glue about every half inch along the edge and this will completely wash out um, but it gives you some stability and it, it's, it's like glue pins really and it's very delicate and it's not gooey and it dries fast so that's going to hold that edge nice and firm without pins so I can get a nice flat edge and then see over here I'm working with it and this is already flipping up so I'm going to just use some of my basting glue to give me a little bit more security and it's just real easy to use that's why I like this little tiny um, applicator because you can really precisely pin down you know put little dots right exactly where you need it other applicators tend to be kind of bulky and they will put too much glue and they're hard to work with so this little needle tip is wonderful so I've decided that I'm gonna do that and since I was doing that and it's gonna make this a little easier for me I thought I should share that little tip with you as well so once I get this all nice and kind of glued down. I'm going to go back to the machine and stitch it and yeah. then also I wanted to tell you while I've got this flat let me grab my skewer. When we stitch um, we stitched <clears throat> the inner edge of this we left this open of course and I put some pink um, markings here to, to remind me not to stitch here because this is going to be a window and that's going to be on a different blog and then when I stitched the I stitched all inside here and uh, across here I came to here and I skipped over and I stitched all the way to here and then when I wanted to stitch inside here I started here I stitched across this and pivoted came across pivoted and came all the way back up and stopped here and then I stitched this right here so all of this remains open and this will be cut away and this will remain a window so I wanted to let you know exactly where to start so that you could sew this little section here. So join me back at the sewing machine and we'll finish this up.